Welcome back to Primetime, everybody. This is episode 14 of our playthrough of Neo, The World Ends With You. I'm just going to tell you, this last day, holy crap, was it a doozy. So day seven, we're on day seven, which is, you know, we got to duke it out with some of the other teams and take their points. We got this sick, sick plan that we've cooked up with Kanan and the Varia Beauties. She and her team are going to go over and take out Sugumi. Or, well, not take her out, but but hold her down so she can't do anything. She's got to fight them. Meanwhile, our team goes all after and locates Susukichi and takes him down. So that way the two of them can't link up. Because while the Varia Beauties aren't strong enough to actually beat um, Sugumi, they can hold her in place and prevent her from coming to help Susukichi. Um... And because uh, you know, neither team is uh, is able to defeat both at once. Not a chance. They're just way, way too powerful. Um, we did go after Susukichi and we, we also were attempting to save Motoy because Motoy was being uh, very reckless because he kind of doesn't have a choice at this point and went straight after Susukichi. Uh, we ran into Shoka, who is no longer a Reaper after the events of the previous day. Um, and we ended up saving her from a bunch of noise that attacked her because she wasn't really equipped to handle them. And uh, afterwards, we offered her a spot on our, on our team. So now we've got a total of five people to help us out at this point. Five people in battle. And it was a pretty, pretty good setup. Um, we continued to chase after Susukichi, though. Um, but we ran into a ton of different... Um, reapers that are interfering with us and, and by it was it was pretty clear that this was deliberate after a point because what would happen is susukichi would charge on through an area transition go to a new area we would get up to it and then all of a sudden there's a reaper sitting there blocking the way and he would say ah this way is closed doesn't even give us a mission just says it's closed we'd have to find some way to go around and inevitably, we were attacked by noise the Reaper sent after us. And just by the time we caught up with Susukichi, we got this message that basically Sugumi had defeated the Varia Beauties, and that was that. Um, we were kind of in trouble. Um, Rindo was allowed to use his time travel mechanics to get back and actually try to um, slip the Reapers. We were able to get away from them using some of Shoka's powers, um, so that way we could not be impeded in our search for Susukichi. Um, knowing where he was going to go probably helped a little bit, but we ended up fighting Susukichi, um, beating him rather soundly. It was actually pretty, pretty straightforward. It was basically the same fight as before, uh, which gave us the opportunity then to get over and help um, Kanan with the, um, with, with the very beauties against Sugumi. Beat the bejesus out of Sugumi as well. Might have even been an easier fight than last time at this point. And we kind of settled in, waited for, for the leader of the Ruinbringers to show up because we know that there is a leader, that these two are not the only ones. There's somebody else out there. Um, but while we're waiting, Sugumi decided that she hadn't had enough yet, that she wanted, a, she wanted just a little bit more of a piece of us. And she kind of did a transformation thing like I don't she had like some sort of new psych or something and she turned into this weird bird creature that we had to fight and and while it was a tough fight we did manage to come out on top but we were physically exhausted the team was like completely <sighs> oh god I don't know how we're gonna fight the ruin bringers leader at this point oh god um and it was at that point that the Shinjuku Reapers decided to show up. They wanted to take a look and see what was going on. Um, and this was all of them um, that we have seen up until now, uh, which basically amounted to um, Kubo and, and Shiba, uh, because Shoko's already with us. Um, Shiba kept talking about how um, we needed the Ruin Bringers to show up, you know, and finish it so we could actually end the day. And he was being kind of coy about talking about uh, what was kind of coy about what was all happening. It was just kind of a weird way for him to talk. And then he just all of a sudden decides to drop the bomb that, hey, guess what? I'm the leader of the Ruin Bringers. It me. It was me. And that the second bombshell is that all of the Ruin Bringers are, are Reapers. Now, it wasn't clear whether it's just Shiva um, Susukichi and Sugumi that are on the team, or if that also includes 
um, uh, Kubo and uh, eventually included Shoka or, or previously included Shoka um, and some of the other Reapers that we've seen. But at the very least, it's those three. Um, and then the next awesome, awesome revelation is that our, our new buddy Shoka, yeah, she's double agent. She was spying on, on us for, for Shiva. And uh, basically, Shoka fed Shiva everything, including information about Rindo's little time travel abilities, which is something that they didn't know about and honestly helped explain a lot of things to them because they couldn't figure out why we were so powerful, why we were doing so well, since so many of us were very, very new players. Um, additionally, Uzuki and uh, Karia were apparently not aware of this dual role that the um, Shinjuku Reapers were taking on as both players and referees. They didn't seem too pleased about it, but we didn't actually see them. Um... Shoka really was expelled from the Reapers, though, as part of this little ploy. She was offered a spot back on the Reapers. She was invited back in. But uh, Shoka said no. Shoka actually said no. She didn't want to rejoin the Reapers. Um, Shiva, at that point, gave us an ultimatum. He gave us the choice to fight, inevitably lose, and be erased... Or just allow the Ruin Bringers to be declared the winners once again. Seeing as we didn't really have much of a choice in the first place, we gave in and let the Ruin Breakers win again. And considering Motoy's current position, despite having not lost to anybody yet, but still being in last place, he was erased by Shiva pure hearts are gone. And then there were three. The Wicked Twisters, the Varia Beauties, and the Ruin Breakers. Shiva kicks off week three and declares that this will be the final week and that this will be the most exciting game yet. And before we got a chance to start our mission, Shoka showed up again. And she wants to rejoin us. She feels bad about what she did, and she wants to help us because she's actually grown to care about what happens to us, which is why she didn't rejoin the Reapers. So, told you, it was, it was a doozy. It was a doozy, but we covered a lot of ground. I don't know how the rest of this is going to go, how the rest of this uh, particular day is going to turn out, but we're going to see. So if you'll join me, we're going to dive right back into the Reapers game. Week three, day one. Yeah, Shoka's got a crush on Rindo. You got that right. All right, so gather intel on the plague noise. Um, the plague noise, we don't quite know what they are. I think that those are those like weird mirror noise that we saw in a couple of in, in one day a long time ago. Hi, Luna. How you doing? Uh, but I think those uh, I think that those are the plague noise. I'm not entirely sure though. I don't have any other ideas as to what it could be. All right, so I'm not sure where to go. What to do? Um, I guess we'll just go this way. <sighs> Whoa, what's up with the sky? Yeah, 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 yeah. That that's not looking like a regular sky. Tis a side effect of sudden death, I fear. Oh, that's right. I forgot. We have sudden death. I, we don't know what sudden death means exactly yet. But I guess we're about to find out. And it's like totally not just the sky, bro. The buildings are all jacked up, too. 
is creepy. I barely even recognize the place. Well, we'd better hurry up and fix it then. No telling what all this will do to the city if we don't stop it. She was gonna pay for this, yo. Shit ain't right. Uh oh. It's Swallow. Oh, oh no, it's Kanan. It's Kanan. Got up against any plague noise yet? Oh, uh, what'd you say, bro? Plague noise. Not yet. Try to keep it that way. They're tough, maybe even too tough for you. But together, we might stand a chance. Meet at Tokyo Plaza. Got it, on our way. Be careful, see you soon. Tokyo Plaza, bro, that's kind of far from here. Better hurry, wouldn't want anything to happen to Kanan because we took too long. Just how strong are these new plague noise? We better watch our backs. I kind of want to find out. I kind of do. Oh, that's wrong button. That's the right one. Okay, are these... None of these are plagues, right? Let's go. An enemy approaches. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Let's go! I remember all my button presses because it's been a little bit. I like the fact that we're getting some of the original OG World Ends With You music now. Um, and these are definitely tougher noise. Oh, hi, there you are. Yeah! Big ba- ah. We got ourselves another friggin... Alright, where's the... Uh... Oh! Blue Chameleons! Okay. Alright. We got this. Ow. We got this, though. We got it. We got it. Yeah, these are definitely tougher fights, I can tell you that much. They're very tanky. But I don't think these are the plague noise that they're talking about. I think these are just really tough noise. Oh shit. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this so I don't lose. Lasers! That was close, but we got lasers. 110% damage. So, what I'm hearing is that without the thing that I've got actually on um, fret, I would have actually lost that fight. Like, legit would have straight up lost that fight. Um, let's go eat some food and get some stats, because I could use those. All right, everybody's happy. Lots of Justice Burgers, yeah! Let's go. Man, I am 
us. Let's eat. And now we feast. Oh, man. Ooh, we've got a tasty attack bonus. Very nice. For justice. Yeah, for justice. Wait. Is justice for... Okay. Someone needs to remind me. Was Justice Burger in Persona as well? Is Justice Burger like a real place? Or is it just like this fictional entity that everybody just kind of nods to? Yep, that's the thing. I swear to God, Justice Burger was in, was in Persona as well. Does anyone remember? I'm going to have to go start up the game and find out. You're hoping we see some fox noise this week? I guess we'll have to see, Kirby. I don't even know if there's fox noise in this game. We'll have to find out. Okay. Um, they want us to... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, team, I think we have a problem, bro. It's the plane noise. Yo, about time they showed up. I had hoped to adverse such a dangerous battle. Uh, especially since we don't know how to beat him, bro. Well, we're gonna have to try something. Oh boy, here we go. I guess I was right. These are the plague noise. Do we need to... I wonder... I wonder, do you need to use, like, a groove move on them to kill them? Oh, maybe not, because you can't, you can't build up anything. You literally cannot build up any meter. Like, these aren't even... Like, okay, so I don't know why they call them Plague Noise. I would honestly, like... I, I think the better name would be to call them, like, Mirage Noise or something. Oh. And they just vanish. That seems like a way better name so far, based on what they do. Nothing's working. What are we supposed to do? Keep hitting it. To, keep hitting them till they stay down, yo. If that weren't, we'd be done with them by now. You got a better idea, yo? Um, uh, like run? Run where? I don't know. Away? Far away, bro? Uh, I'm I'm kind of with Fred on this Agreed. one. Agreed. We should fall back and regroup. Save our strength for after we have a proper strategy. Retreat! Okay. She even implied that they infect other noise. I mean, that could explain why they're called Plague Kirby. I'm not sure. I still like the term Mirage Noise better. I guess we're going to Cat Street, though. Uh, Tokyo Building is the next area, I think, right? And is it just me, or does this place look a little bit more distorted than it was before, in terms of like how things are bent? Uh, anything new? Ooh, hey, new stuff. Vulcan uppercut. That looks like a new, similar style to what I'm using on Rindo. Like also an Uber pen. 812 versus 68. I think this one's going to be stronger. What's this? Uh, Jupiter of the Monkey 2. Vortex Saber. 896. This is a light move. Ooh. Oh, hell yes. Another HP vampire? Yeah, we take it. We'll, we'll get this one too. Because I would like to collect them. That's a new item. Alright, so we got a new pin for Rindo. Let me think this through. It's been a, it, it's been a while since we've had another pin on. I mean, unfortunately, the power of this one is really good. But at the same time, I think that it's going to be better. We're going to get more power out of the new pin. Is the snow? Vulcan uppercut. Where is it? 
Jupiter of the Monkey 2. Because it has a higher base power than this. 633, 896. So even though it's got lower levels, um, it is going to hopefully not need as many of them. It also does have the HP vampire. It also does potentially have an evolution. So I don't know. It could be an actual evolution. Looks like Shibuya is uh, tearing itself apart spatially. Yeah. Like, I've noticed some of this stuff happening before, but it hasn't been this, I, I would say, egregious That's before cool. now. Let's see if we can uh, play with... Oh, I didn't need to touch that. Whoops. Let's do some fight right here with that. I suppose combat is inevitable. Now, it is a different tech type, though, with this new one, because it's a Vortex Saber, as opposed to the Uppercut one, so it's going to knock things away. Okay, good damage. Nice. And... Oh, he is just in a really bad spot for me to shoot him. Oh, come on. Let's try it again. Oh, we got him. Finally got him. Alright, so it'll take some getting used to to work Rindo's new pin into combos, but I mean, as long as it develops into a stronger pin, I'm okay with it. Part of the problem right now is that Rhinos suck. Like, I kind of want to use... Uh, my groove on it just to finish him off. There we go. Get a launcher. Alright, I guess we're just going to keep doing that. Got him. I really hope we don't have too many more rhinos. Probably gonna be all rhinos. Okay, we got this. Yep, that would be too easy. But we do at least have a killer remix available if we want to use it. I might save it though. Back away. Come on. Give me... There we go. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, back it away. Back it away. Rhinos, sharks, mammoths, and dinos. Joy. Exactly, Gakarov. How are we doing tonight, though, by the way? It's good to see you, man. Yeah, that must be like a rhino noise symbol or something that I didn't realize it. There we go, get the launcher. Friggin' poison. Other stuff. Oh, no, no, I don't want to fight this. There we go. That's what I want to see. Is that it? Yep, that's all of them. 
That's all of them. Not too shabby. Not bad. Got uh, got a level up out of the pin as well. That's very nice. And I lowered my food down a lot, which means that. Um. Oh, let's see. Is there another point I can use to get up? Looks like there might be one back here. Um. Because Shoko's power is to like basically kind of sort of fly a little bit. And uh, she can take us into certain areas. I don't know if this area. Oh, hey, it's pig noise! Oh, I can't wait to be done with this. You're melting. Please send snow. I've been literally using ice packs to tolerate stream because <laughs> two PCs in a small room. Well, without proper it. cooling, so hitting 90 degrees. 90s. Oh, okay. Uh Okay, you had me worried there for a second, Gak, because I thought that the room was hitting 90 degrees C. And, um... Um... <laughs> that, that worried me. <laughs> then, every, then I realized, oh, he means the computer. You dumbass. But I'm sorry, I wish I could send you some snow. I know Kitten wants some of my snow. I told her if she'll cover shipping, I'll UPS some of it to her. Like, I'll box it up and send it to her. Uh, the OG game had Drake Noise, which had more the bo uh, the shape of a wyvern. I would love to Let's see that, look. Kirby. That would be kind of cool. Um, Let's actually go get some more food, because... And I don't think we've actually eaten from this place. Well, we might have. Just not very much. Apparently we have a usual, so I guess we've eaten enough. Aw, she loves the dumplings! Oh, that's cute. Let's go. Man, I am starving! Time to eat. Oh, Ooh, really nice I tasty bones for Rindo. I wonder if everybody... No? Okay, so... Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Not, not yet. Let's see if we can get find something good for her. Perfect. We'll order up another thing of food. More stats. Yeah! Tasty bonus. Everybody is officially over a hundred style. Excellent. Very, very good. All right, so we're all full now. Before we go meet Kanan, because it's, it's probably best to come over there. I don't think she's going to have any food for us, but I guess we'll find out. Until we can figure out how to blot out that noise, I'm afraid we're going to have to fall back. Hey, Kanan. Oh, hi there, Twisters. Glad to see you've managed to survive sudden death so far. So you wouldn't happen to know anything about this new noise, would you? Unfortunately, no. Is Swallow with her? Hidden among the very beauties? Still no reply. They haven't even read my messages. That, that is unfortunate. And those things just keep multiplying. Quite an inauspicious beginning to the week. And I'm worried it's only going to get tougher from here. Hey. Think about it. That Shiba's a downright sadist. He's not going to let this game end any sooner than his scheduled. He's going to extend our suffering for as long as he can. Yeah, you're probably right. So sounds like a kind of kind of stunt he pulled. But that also means there must be a way to make sure we survive until the end. Me and the beauties will look into it today. For now, you ought to just stay safe and leave the hard work to us grown-ups. Uh, no, we, we want to help. We'll look into it with you. Tee-hee. <laughs> Well then, if you insist. Cue us doing all of the work. Oh, just lead the way, Commander Kanan. We'll follow you to the ends of the Earth. Promises, promises. You're kidding. Hey, I really meant it. Fred, I think you're a really sweet kid. And you always say the nicest, most encouraging things. But they're always too nice. So nice that they start to sound disingenuous. Uh, wait. Like, that's a thing? Seriously? It feels like you don't mean a single word you say. 
Uh, jeez, why don't you go ahead and crush my entire soul while you're at it? Guess I've got to work on my delivery. Brett? Just work on being genuine. Not with others, but with yourself. Once you get that down, the delivery will follow. Uh, uh I'll, I'll see what I can do, Kanan. Well, let's come up with a plan, shall we? Hmm. Any ideas? Um, don't die. How's that? We could keep fighting them head on, but that won't be very productive as long as we don't know what makes them tick. Agreed. Know thine enemy as they say. Exactly. And if we don't, if we know next to nothing, we could just watch them. Hmm. So long as they don't notice us, I suppose we could. In fact, you may be onto something. A little observation may be just the ticket. What? What kind of a servant are we talking about, yo? The good old-fashioned kind, of course. What does that mean? We hit the streets, look for clues wherever we can. Uh. Oh, don't be like that. It's not so bad. I'm sure to find something eventually. Oh boy, can't wait to get this started, bro. Fred. Yeah? What did I say about being more genuine? Uh, I like totally am. I'm genuinely taking this super seriously. You don't take anything seriously, Fred. What are you so afraid of? Uh, n n nothing she certainly is relentless today. No kidding. You should try saying what you really mean sometimes. Not everyone will want to hear what you have to say. But some people will. I know I do. Why, if you told me half of what you were really thinking, I might just swoon. Uh, is that what you're really, really thinking? Of course, you always know I'm sincere. <sighs> uh, I'm like totally not buying it. That's up to you, in any case. I'll see what my beauties and I can find out on the way to Utakawa. We'll look around, too. We'll hit up, uh... Window. How about the Scramble Crossing, bro? Ah. Yeah, well, what, what he said. Fine plan. Take care out there, Twisters. And don't try to take on the noise until we know how. Copy that. Good luck. Ciao! Back to the Scramble Crossing we go. All right. Scramble Crossing it is. Uh, so you know how that D&D store opened recently too, sir? Uh, it's been my wallet's drain ever since. Well, my wife dislikes chocolate and hates flowers, and the D&D store has a box of dice instead of a box of chocolate, so I want one of those for her instead. <laughs> that is so unbelievably cute, Gak. I love it. That is, that is adorable. Whoa. What's wrong, Rin, dude? Uh, it was just... My reflection. Totally. Yeah, bro. Tokyo Plaza is pretty crazy. Might as well be a house of mirrors. You're walking along and then, bam, a whole bunch of you. Yeah, it kind of freaked me out for a second. You like totally a scaredy cat sometimes, Rin, dude. Are we sure it was a mirror? Or was it a plague noise? We'll never know, apparently. I was going to get a metal dice box, but they sold out of that tier, so I had to settle for resin. Resin will probably still look nice, depending upon how it's designed, though, buddy. And I think I think she'll love the gift. Hopefully she doesn't watch the show and gets it spoiled. Oh, God, it's a glass frog! There's one. Well spotted. Uh, so... So, like, these noise, is there anything special about them, bro? Aside from looking a little weird, I mean... Hard to say. They seem to show up in all the same places and act pretty much the same way, too. There's gotta be something. Yo, it's headed right, right at us! How did it know we were here? Who cares, bro? Run! Phew, bro. I thought we were done for. How about how are we supposed to beat those things? That's what we're trying to find out, but we don't even know how to do that on the way over for work. Okay, cool. So she won't know. Alright, I guess we're just going to keep going to the uh, to the Scramble Crossing.
Oh, that's right. We gotta go this way. Any new music to buy? Oh, we got some new music. Shibuya Survivor. That's it. Okay, we got all the other music. Actually, how's our collection doing for that? How are we doing? Oh, wow. We got most of the books. We've got most of the music. That's nice. So I don't know how much more music we're missing, but we've got most of that. We've got about three quarters of the books. We've got closing in on half the pins. Threads. We're actually over halfway on threads, looks like. Um, food. Probably need to try some different foods. So, not bad. 13 more music. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good on that, to be honest. Um, Noisepedia. We have a lot more noise to find. I'm assuming that these last ones, like number 10... And number four are the plague versions of those noise. I'm guessing. We've only fought a third of the different noise that are available. Wow. And that is counting. That's counting the um, the other players. Okay. Oh, there's our boss from before. Gruus Contus, a robotic girl of few words, who allies herself with the Ruinbringers. Her actions on the battlefield mirror her personality and can be predicted fairly easily if you study her close enough. There's 92 different types of uh, noise you can fight. Cool. Might be play versions or might be post game or new game plus if those things exist. Yep, maybe. I'm I'm thinking it's probably the plague versions. That's my best guess. Could ultimate difficulty be part of completion? I'm not sure, Kirby. It might be a new game plus or hey, you've beaten the game, have this. Um, because I don't think it's in I haven't seen it in the social network. And actually, yeah, I don't have anything to unlock, but I don't see anything that covers that. It might be just an automatic unlock for later, or it could be some of these that I haven't got. Because there are some quests that I haven't completed, but my guess, if I had to take a guess, is that it would have been one of these three. But we still have, this one has been completely not revealed yet. Same for, well, this one, I guess, actually happens today. Um, that one, this one, I don't know, but this is probably, this is a shop of some sort. This one, don't know what this one is, but this is probably also a shop. This one is also today. Wow, okay. So maybe we should start taking a look at mental notes. What to do? So you see who needs help. We need help in Utagawa. Someone can use your help with the Expressway Underpass and Tipsy Toes Hall. Let's actually hit the Expressway Underpass really quick. And see if we can get some of these quests done. Because that'll give us some more FP, which will be very helpful. And honestly, I would hope it would just be a nice, easy dive. That would be the simplest way to do this. Because dives are just very, very fast fights. Oh, hey, there's another uh, jump point. Let's have a look. Teleports. Let's see where this takes us. Wee. Anything up here? Anything? Really? So this is just a empty spot? Oh. I don't know. I don't see anything jumping out at me. Ah, uh, no. No scorpions. Not fighting any scorpions today. But it does remind me I have an opportunity to try a new power we picked up.
Hey, you're just in time. We're pals, right? And pals should always be ready to do each other a favor. Uh, are we pals, bro? Hey, punk. Yo, we just here to buy a few things. Ain't looking for a job. Come on, I'm in a tight spot here. What's up? <sighs> uh, someone's been sniffing around my shop. Writing all sorts of stuff about it on the web. I figure they gotta be creeping around here somewhere. Track them down for me, will ya? Maybe. What are they writing about you? According to an urban legend, the shop under the expressway is selling a certain flower. Or something. I swear I could fart and they'd make it out to be an explosion. Thanks to them, the place is getting swarmed with people coming to see for themselves. Um, okay. Urban Legends, Shibuya, Expressway. This one? It's about a flower cultivated in Shibuya, the manic flower, apparently. What fantastical phenomena will we witness at this shady shop today? Oh. What? It's not like I created the damn things. Anyway, find whoever's writing that junk and I can open up shop. Get to it. Jeez. Seriously, yo? He thinks we're his gophers or something, y'all? Lord Rindo. Lord Rindo, upon closer inspection, I believe the culprit's identity is clear. Observe. Tib tis Machastri. Uh. Oh, you're right. Uh, that one guy from that one mission? Yep, time to track him down, I guess. Hopefully he's, like, easier to find than the stuff he writes about, bro. I guess we can start by scanning and uh, seeing who reacts to talk about Ryuji, Ryoji's store. Yeah, let's see about whose memories we can yep. jot. Leave to me, bro. Almighty Fredster. Focus on urban legends at Shibuya. Let's go. Focus. So what are we thinking here? And there we go. <laughs> Oh, 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 that picture. Oh, 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 that is great. Okay, anything pop up? I didn't see anything. You want to know what that what that aura was, Kirby? It's a power we picked up last time. It's a noise magnet. Let's go. Shredded, yo. Let's get shredded. Or shred them, not us. Let's do this. Got the shark. Nice. That was the one I really wanted again. Fixers are really top tier, I would agree with that. Let's get the bird next. Well, the flying bird is what I meant, but you know what I mean. Makes it easier to make change and I guess catch blue noise, yeah. There's another link that you can get that has the same power, so I'm guessing what it means is it gives you more range. Oh, come on. Get the shark out of here. We got one of them, I guess. Okay, there's the other one. Oh, no, apparently we didn't get the other one. Or maybe the second one, or maybe we didn't get the first one, I don't know. Bombs away! Beautiful. Get him, Shoka! Nice. Good good job, girl. Good job. I really need to get Rindo up to speed with this pin. No sweat for Fred. Oh great. Um, yeah, 
fuck this noise. Like, literally. Literally fuck this noise. Get them all? No, no, we didn't. We got them, most of them, though. Got most of them. We just need a little bit extra oom on our pins and other stats. Level three, not bad. And uh, that was our person we want to talk to. I feel it. I heard you could get the haunted flowers or whatever here, but I guess it was a one-day deal. I really missed out. Okay, so that's one person. Anybody else? Oh, hello. Something's coming. Been seeing a lot of talk about the manic flower lately. Weird for it to be trending so long after I wrote about it. Something's fishy. Ryoji's challenging and channeling his manic energy into flowers. Creepy. This is a man with the power to make legends real. I've got to write this down. Yeah, this is the um, the rumor dude from a couple of, from last week. Oh yeah, that's like definitely our guy, bro. Perfect. Let's go tell Ryoji and let him deal with it. That was easy enough. A little punk. Hey, hey you! Get out your ass over here! Yeah, b please don't hurt me! Here, here, take my wallet! Yo, yo, like, totally calm down, dude. We're not trying to rob you, bro. <laughs> Finally gotcha! Now then! Huh? I don't want to get cursed! Not sure I like where this is going. You'll be wishing you got cursed when I get through with you. Come here! Uh, yes, sir! What do you say we team up, you and me? Uh, pardon? Huh? What? The heck? <laughs> that urban legends of yours has brought in more foot traffic than anything else I've tried. Hell, I'm pretty sure I owe most of the last week's sales to you. You keep writing about weird stuff going on here. Well, I keep raking in the cash, and by I, I mean we. Catch my drift? <laughs> uh, dang, like, I'm totally sold. I won't dirty the good name of urban legends like that. No problem. What you say? Yeah. Listen, work with me here and I'll forget about you sticking your nose where it don't belong. So what do you say? You in or you want to do this the hard way? In. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Now then, right to business. Hit me with your best urban legends. I'll come up with something to sell for every last one of them. Oh, 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 okay. And he just runs off. I, like, almost feel bad for the poor guy, bro. Hey, uh, you kids really helped me out. Here, take this. Just a little something to say thanks. I'll be running the shop. Like, uh, back to running the shop. Always, if you need anything. Shadow Matter. 5 FP. And, oh, hey, new social link. Yeah, I kind of thought that that's where it was going to go because it makes more sense for him to partner up because the guy's been driving business. He hasn't really been, like, annoying, annoying. He's actually been making it busier for Ryoji. All right, so that's the... Right there. Oh, there, is, there he is. Sometimes increases the groove earned from feet drop combos performed by Shoka and Nagi. Ooh, hell yeah. Shit, let's go. Only two points. Uh, We will hold off, I think. That wasn't bad, though. All right, so then we got to go to Tipsy Toes for the next one, right? And then Utagawa Backstreets for the last. So let's actually what plan this out where we got to go. So Utagawa Backstreets is way... Oh, Tipsy Toes is right next door. So go to Center Street next. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I know that there was a two FP cost on whatever his name. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to. I, I really didn't care for that power up. It was basically just an item. Center Street. Tipsy toes. And right there. Oh, it's the um the barbecue dude? Oh no, it's one of the very beauties. Hang on, bro. What's up? Uh, That's Kanan's teammate, Mido, right? Looks like he's flying solo today, bro. Think you might know something about the new noise? Yeah. Only one way to find out. Let's ask, bro. Yeah, let's just talk about it. Hey, Mido, right? Excuse you? Well, if it ain't the icky twisters. Say, did you find out anything about the new noise yet, bro? Even if I did, why would I tell you peasants? Huh? Come on, buddy. We're all on the same team right now. Ugh, we are? Why is it that literally no one tells me these things? Uh, you mean Kanan didn't say anything? Yeah. I sadly haven't been able to reach her all day. Been trying to meet up with my teammates too, but I can't get a hold of them either. You don't think they've been kicked me off the team, do you? Uh... No way, Kanan ain't like that, bro. Right? Super weird. I was able to reach them all just fine yesterday. So then what the hell happened? I can't remember. Actually, in that case, I might be able to help, bro. What? Don't joke about that. Are you being serious? Mm -hmm. Sure am, bro. Just give me a minute. Just gotta focus on Kana. Let's have a look. Let's get down to business. Okay. Boom. Those are so freaking cute. They really are. Bam! Bye bye noise. Gotta focus. Really? That asshole is just gonna sit there. Let's have a look. Oh, do I gotta go find somebody else? Yeah, I might need to go find somebody else. Somebody with a green thing. Where is the green thing? Oh god. Oh god, I'm being chased! Let's have a look. Gotta focus. I guess I could I just talk to him at this point. I don't know. Normally when I do remembrance. Oh well, I didn't need to do the the actual remember. Oh that's good, because he's a player. Derp derp. I'm an idiot. OMG, I remember now. <laughs> Booyah, bro. So what happened? Yeah. I blocked all incoming and outgoing messages. Wait, what? Why, bro? <sighs> Sumio wouldn't stop pestering me. So when I reached my breaking point yesterday, I just turned on airplane mode. And it looks like I forgot to turn it off. Ah, oh, bro. You, like, totally screwed up. Sumio was one of the pure hearts. <laughs> People had me been messing to me after all. I don't know I'm still popular. Oh, and thanks for the help. Laters! So, how did you not know that your messages weren't working? Because if you had airplane mode on, you couldn't send messages either. Well, that takes care of that, shall we, bro? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's. Got more friendship points. And updated another social network. All right, so I still can't get to them. Oh, that's cool. It tells me when the, where the pig noise are. Um. Let's go for this. HP retainer. And let's just do another chain extender. 
Because I apparently cannot fight enough noise yet. Not yet. Alright, we gotta head over to Udagawa, which is over this way. Like, I can make Boku chains, like, huge-ass chains now. Hey there! New what's music. Up? Thanks! Come That's back it. soon! Okay. Twelve tracks. We only have a dozen tracks left that we need to get. Um, you... Do I need to buy Where's anything here? Sold out, sold out, sold out. I guess run out. Level five. See you later then. Because there is a trophy for maxing out all of the shops. Okay, so who needs help in Utagawa? I didn't see anything. Is it over here and I just missed it? So I don't see anybody who actually needs help. You said Utagawa Backstreets, right? This through. In Utagawa. Is there more than one Utagawa? No, there's only one Utagawa. Okay, I am confused. Hmm. I don't see anybody. It's not the shop. Nobody needs help. It is today. Well, yeah, it has to be today because it said it was today. Let's have a look. Gotta focus. Let's have a look. Focus. Like norm, it should show up as a quest, shouldn't it? Let's have a look. Is it maybe not active yet? Does it require me to have more progression on the quest? I don't know. All right, we'll head back to the crossing and take a look and see what they got there instead. Hello, Mr. Varia Beauty. What do you got for me? Hey there, Twisters. Hey yourself, bro. Got any info to share? Not a smidge. Hmm. That's no good. You better pick up the slack. We're trying. Well, all we found is that the folks in the RG can apparently see the new noise. What? In the RG? That don't sound good. Not everyone, though. Only people with, like, a sixth sense or something. Intriguing. Speaking of special powers, have you tried using yours? One of you has some sort of rememory ability, right? <laughs> oh, that would totally be me, bro. Why not give it a shot? You just might learn something new. I'd say it's worth a try. Yeah, jogging people's memories could work. If one of them has encountered these new pig, uh, these new plague noise, we may be able to pry some knowledge out of them. Show. That's the best plan we've got so far, yo! Alrighty then, bro. Leave it to me. Yeah. By the way, if you're looking in to talk to some more of my teammates, they should be posted around Ois and Shibuya Hikari. They might be able to help you out. Alright, well... Remember the mirror things. Boom. <laughs> Oh, I love these pictures. They're so good. Hey, there's one. Huh, I can see something over there in the Scramble Crossing. Looks like some kind of translucent monster. Maybe they're shooting a movie. Or maybe I'm just seeing things. Yeah, let's go with just seeing things. Oh, yesterday? That's practically ages ago in Shibuya time, bro. And I doubt anyone else who saw us still around. Let's look it up. There might be a way to. Hmm. Wanna fish that thought, Rin, dude? There's a live stream of the crossing, right? Now that you mention it, 
I'm pretty sure there is, bro. Don't know who'd watch a big crosswalk all day. I'll see if I can find it. Let's see. Shibuya Scramble. Live stream. Hmm. Here we go. Found some footage. Uh, there it is. Ah, found it right there. Found it right here. Plague noise. Duh. Holy crap, bro. You're right. Yeah. It just shows up out of nowhere right by the bookstore. Wonder why it wasn't visible before that. Something special about that spot, yo? Let's go check it out. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. Was that a new noise symbol in Utagawa Backstreet? I didn't notice anything, but I wasn't really looking, so I don't know. Whatever we are searching for should be nearby. Looks normal to me, yo. Except for all that weird shit in the sky. What do we do? Well, we could just stand here and just wring our hands all day. Hey. Or we could scan a, remi a reminder our way to some info. Well, I guess you're right. Okay, so we know that one of those noise appeared by the bookstore. And it sounds like it just showed up out of nowhere. Either the noise are materializing out of thin air, or there's something else that makes them visible. Can't make any conclusions just yet, but it's a good start at least. Well, that's one new tip that we've learned. I don't know. Helpful, but not quite enough. Yep. Keep looking, people. Let's go, bro. Uh, let's actually see if I need to buy any more books. Good to see you. Are you looking for something? There's one, probably about final or killer remix. Have okay. a nice day. All right, so I've got that's another book. Um, I guess we're going to to one of fo. Hey, cutscene. Noise alert. Oh, hello. Uh, is it just me, or are there more of them than before, bro? Maybe. Either way, we shouldn't mess with them. Don't think they're giving us a choice, yo. Get ready to throw down. Damn it. It's just so weird to think of Shoka saying damn it. Okay, there are more of them now. And again, doesn't do anything. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to stay away. Ah! Okay, they're gone. Why won't those things just die, bro? Or at least stop multiplying, yo! There's no way we can win against them. Not until we find a weakness. Yeah, we kind of need that weakness first. I'm done for. Forgive me, Queen Kanan. Kanan? Where'd that come from? Uh -huh. Over yonder, look. The noise have him surrounded. But we've, like, totally got to help him, bro. What do we do? No, he's trying to beat those things, yo. But we can give a homeboy an emergency exit, so let's go. Yeah, let's do it, bro. Ain't this noise. We're just gonna fight until they disappear. On, yo. Yeah, I think we've got this. This is a really good song from the original game. Ow.
right? We at least saved the very beauty guy. Did he make it out okay? One can hope. He should be well provided no other noise make him their prey. Glad that's over. But still, we really are hopeless like this. Plague noise causing you grief? You have no idea, bro. Oh, who are you? Wait, who are you, bro? Oh, it's Hishima. You know him? Yep, he's a reaper. Say what? Hmm. It's possible we passed each other by at some point. But I believe this is our first formal meeting. So new characters? My name is Hishima Saku Sakazuki. I hail from Shinjuku. Really? Hey, punk. You're one of them, huh, yo? Your hostility is unwelcome, but understandable. I come bearing a warning about the leader of the Reapers. Your leader? Shiba. Huh? Oh? It may interest you to know. He is not happy with you. If he has his way, you will all be erased before the day is done. So you had best either find a way to defeat his noise, or make yourself scarce. Uh, that uh, doesn't exactly inspire confidence, bro. Try changing the lighting. Huh? Indeed. The plague noise react to a certain kind of light. You may find them more manageable under its influence. Um, uh, what kind of light? That's up for you to find out for yourselves. I would hate to take the fun out of the game after all. Uh, we've like totally had enough fun, thanks. Hey. How do you know that anyway? I spend my fair share of time dealing with the noise in Shinjuku. What do you mean? I have said enough. Any more would unbalance the game. Fine, you know, I had you all wrong. I figured you were always slacking off somewhere. I think not. I do take my job seriously, despite appearances. Despite my ass, bro, you've got serious written all over you, bro. So you ain't finna tell us more about this light, yo? No, it's up to you to find it and use it effectively. I have no more business here. See. Exit stage right. Uh, at least he gave us a pretty big hint, bro. But we still don't know what kind of light he was talking about. I don't know. Which puts us right back to wandering around until we hear something. Uh. Yeah, let's gather all the information we can. I don't know. I mean, the two things that come up and make sense is light and darkness. But that's not really changing the light. That's a either that's light and the absence of light. So I don't think that's quite what they're getting at. I think maybe we're talking more something like regular light versus UV light or something. I don't know. Got some more info, yo. Huh? Two pieces to be exact. Is that enough? We good? Nah. Not yet. I still feel like we're not seeing the whole picture. Thus, our investigation continues. May it lead to an enlightening conclusion. Well, I guess, uh, well, actually, let's, uh, we need to head to Shibuya Hikari. Let's see if I can sneak back over. There is a quest in there, though. There is definitely a quest that shows there on the screen. So let's actually see if we can swing back to Utagawa real fast. Um, this goes to Dogenzaka. This goes to Wanafo. Is Wanafo. Wanafo is. Nothing's really faster. As far as your comment from sometime was more accurate than I thought. I don't know, Kirby. I don't know. As far as light is concerned, those of you who have the OG game, especially on DS, you'll know what I'm getting at. I unfortunately don't remember. There is so much I don't remember about that game because it has been literally... It's probably been close to a decade since I played it. I tell you right now, this game would have been primed for a 
the story thus far kind of mechanic that encompasses the first game, especially for people that are playing this on PC and PlayStation, because we wouldn't have had access to Final Remix on Switch or mobile, potentially. Let's move. All right, let's see what we got under the Gawa. All right, we're looking for a guy in like a blue jacket or something. I don't know. Like, I seriously don't understand where he could be. Like, it's not in one of the shops. I don't think. Can I scoot over there? No. Is there anybody Let over think here? Let's have a look. Gotta focus. Like, I don't see anybody. Let's have a look. Gotta focus. Maybe I gotta go in? Well, no. I mean, the only shop I haven't gone into is the parfait. Welcome. No, it's not that either. Oh, yikes. Those are, those are really high calories. Holy shit. I can't put on all Please of those. Come again soon. Not everybody's going to get one of those. Is there... Well, where the heck is this dude? There's literally a guy that's supposed to be around here. Let's have a look. I don't see anything like him. I wonder if there's a special condition you got to trigger to get him to pop up. I thought maybe just continuing the quest line would pop him up, but I guess not. Right, well, let's get out of here. Let's move. Scramble Crossing. There's only a specific time frame he's there in the day. Maybe. It might have even been before I went to go find Kan Kanan. It, it could have been even that early. Or it might need that I have to go see all of these people and I can only see it in the final stage. I don't know. There's a lot of potential rules. I just don't know what they could all be. The answer is probably I just need to go through and check the area at every stage of the quest. Hey. If it isn't the, it, I mean, wicked twisters. I'll, I'll hear, I hear we'll be helping each other out today. Goodness knows we need it. Same here. So, see anything weird around? I didn't, but someone outside Shibuya Hikari did. One of the RG doors saw something. Well, what was it, yo? Oh. Dunno, he was pretty out of it. Couldn't get anything useful out of him. What was wrong with him? Beats me. Maybe he was just freaked out or something. I see. Shall we dive in and see for ourselves? If you're okay with that. Dives are good. Dives give us FP. My feelings matter not. Tis my solemn duty to solve the mystery before us. That... Is what Lord Tomonami would do. Except that he's a dick and no longer helping us. Uh, we gotta go this way. Let's move. All right, there. Gotta focus. Um. Oh, I gotta talk to him first. Uh, maybe. Uh, what was that thing? And why couldn't I anyone else see it? Am I going crazy? Is any of this real? Am I real? He does not appear to be under the influence of the noise. Albeit not of the plague for I am. Hey. Oh, just the regular kind? Hell, we can handle that, boss. Let's go. Yo, you got this, Penny. I believe I do. Although his state of confusion may pose a challenge. Still, we should help him if we can. Very well, let us begin. Let's have a look. 
die. Shall I proceed then? Oh, yeah. Are we really only supposed to be level 36 at this point? Holy shit. Yo, Glitchin, what's going on, man? What's go currently going on? Um, basically, we found out the entire game has been rigged from the beginning. The team that always wins is led by the head referee of the entire game. And so now we're kind of turning this into a all the players versus the Reapers. And it's kind of stupid. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for these to come back. There we go. Okay, Wolf is down. Okay, there we go. Oh god. Ah! Those you were seeing was probably the popper fish symbol. Yeah, it probably was. There's some symbols that we haven't seen a whole lot of. Okay, so which ones are these? Healthy erasure and big ones. All right, so the shark, when we kill it, is actually going to give us health, and then the birds are just really friggin' big. Nope, missed. I like that the vortex actually drags them down. That is actually really cool. Okay, we can't get that one. <laughs> you get sucked down. Got him. Still got gold ranking. It looks like they're all basically... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, maybe they're all threes, but apparently this one's a four. Big noise. Let's go. Let's go. Finish them off. Jesus, he's got a lot of help. Not bad, I'd say. Oof. Damn, he's got a lot of help. Not bad, though. And we got 6 FP for that. Very nice. Very nice. Always a good thing. Right. It all started when I turned on that bug zapper. That's when that first monster appeared. What's that light's deal anyway? Bug zapper? Huh? A bug zapper? Like one of those blue lights? Uh -huh. Is a black light, if I'm not mistaken. So I was right when I said UV lighting. Okay. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna stop here for a second. We're gonna stop here for a second. I do not get the chance to be right very often, so we are going to revel in the fact that I actually guessed it. I am very, very happy about this. I said like a UV light earlier. So I am happy that I got this. Y'all are a bunch of fucking dicks. Can't be happy for me. I was right. Get over it. Fucking goose. I'm gonna serve you for dinner. <laughs> what would have happened if that was a fireball, Kirby? <laughs> uh... But what's it got to do with those no new noise, y'all? Aren't just saying just yet. 
We should look into it a bit more before... I'm gonna run out of phoenix down to this rate, y'all. They don't grow on trees. I actually have to go find a phoenix. I have to pluck it out of there. They don't like that very much. I got some scars. I can't show them here because it violate TOS, but I got some scars from the last time I had to go get some. Hyper charging oh, no, 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 come on. Ah! Oh, Jesus, Cap, why you keep doing this crap to me? Ah, God. Oh, God damn it, Cap. God freaking damn it. Oh, y'all are relentless tonight. We should look into it a bit more before jumping to any conclusions. Yeah, like, we totally, we don't exactly have time for any dead ends today, bro. Right. I mean, we got some ideas at least, though. I feel like we've got a decent handle on this now, bro. Okay. Yeah, we should totally report this back to Kanan. We do need to reformulate our plan of action. Good idea, let's do that. I'll message her. Hey, we got some info. Wanna work out a strategy? Perfect, I'd love to. We're at the Scramble Crossing if you're nearby. On our way. Hmm. She'll meet us at the Scramble Crossing. Show. No time to lose, y'all. Let's get moving. We can actually go, probably go eat some more food because we did fight some stuff. Oh, greetings. Let's see. Triple Maka Parfait. Uh, no. It's not recognizing when I hit the D-pad like half the time. Okay, you all like those. You... Okay. You like that. Hey, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. More food. Hey, got a tasty style bonus for both uh, Fret and Shoka. Very nice. Come back again. Oh, actually, let's take also a look at the shop and see if we have anything new we can buy. Greetings. Uh, doesn't... Oh, ooh, whoa! That's kind of cool. It's expensive. Grease's groove when landing a combo. Very nice. Thank you kindly. I'm gonna try to get my groove max up to, or plus up to up to 20. And then we're gonna go I have a feeling we're probably gonna get into a fight. Here we go. There we go. Dragon, have a good night. Thank you for being here. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Oh, come on. Who led him in here? Oh, come on. Okay. Protect! Protect! I really need to take the quicken spell feat. I really need to do that. I gotta get better at this. Ugh. <sighs> All right, let's just go talk to Kanan here. Really, Twisters, you sure got here quick. Oh, wouldn't want to keep you waiting. Mm -hmm. Oh, how thoughtful. Well, let's go over what you all have told me so far. We need some kind of light. The noise seemed to appear out of thin air. And something about a, a buck zapper? That about sum it up? Yes. Yep. So if we put everything together, what made the plague noise appear? The bookstore light? Right. There was something about the light at the bookstore. The light? What about it? Uh. 
Oh, so is the UV what creates them? It kills bugs because bats. Special um, line. Oh yeah, I had a bug zapper with a bluish line. Sounds like a black line. We thought so too. We'll need to get our hands on one somehow. They might sell them at Tokyo Hands. Probably. They sell just about everything there. Well, let's go give it a look-see. And once we have our black line, we can test it out in the noise. See if it really is the weak point we're looking for. Okay. Uh, Tokyo Hands. Uh, let's actually... I guess we'll head this way. Uh, this is perfect because uh, we need to head this way. It gives us a chance to also check out um, the quest again to see if we can find it. Let's move. I think Tokyo Hands is the department store that's in Tipsy Toes. I think. But let's go check out the quest first. And see if we can find some. Come on. Give us the quest. Give us the quest. Give it the quest. Oh, Questicle, where are you? Oh, Questy. Come out, come out wherever you are. Let's move. I don't see any like I don't understand where this quest is supposed to be. Like it's it's nowhere as far as I can tell. How's my graffiti wall looking? Uh, I haven't looked at it in a while. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, let's. That's right. We're gonna go get the bug zapper from over here. Yeah, through the apartment store. So, if you were a black light, where would you be? By the bug stuff, for sure. I don't know. Uh, would it, shouldn't it be with all the other lights? Or maybe they have different kinds in different places. Whatever. As long as we get some kind of black light, anything will do. I guess. Hey, there's a black light. Think this will work? I see no reason why not. Yep. Uh, might as well bite and see, bro. Okay, who who doesn't have 980 yen at this point? Yes. Just this, please. Black light acquired. Then we're all set to fight the noise. Assuming that Hishima was right anyway, which I think he was. I mean, we've seen for ourselves that it works with the light of the bookstore. Huh? Yeah, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Let's go check it out. Oh. Well, we're armed with and ready with our black light. You think it's gonna work, y'all? In theory, yes. In practice, who's to say? The show. Then let's light this sucker up and find out, y'all. I really wish we could give it a test run first. Make sure it, like, actually, you know, works. Mm. Yeah, me too. We could if there were any other noise around, but there's not, so we can't. Unfortunate. Straight to the real deal it is, then. The people possessed by this noise can't afford to wait while we look for a guinea pig. <sighs> what do you mean? Right. That noise sucks the soul out of people, leaves them acting acting like empty huzz. That's the reverb. So they're basically left soulless? Basically, that's why we gotta hurry. Is that what happened in Shinjuku? Yeah, nobody could stop it. I saw how it affected people in the RG, and I... I can't let that happen again. We gotta move. You're right. Thanks. Well, well you're welcome, then. Hey! If you're looking for some practice, perhaps I could be of assistance? <laughs> uh, you're not here to fight us, are you? Heh, <laughs> suppose you gotta start acting like a real reaper sooner or later, yo. Huh, you're one to talk. Hey, punk. Hey, Pinky. Hey, what? 
Y'all really want to see Shibuya get a raise like this? I thought y'all finna keep the city safe, yo. I'm sure some of the Reapers are, but not me. I'm just following the orders I was given. From who, yo? From the Game Master, obviously. So what, you just, you his yes woman now? Well, what other choice do I have? Relax, girl, you're just doing your job. Karya, sup? Sup? Don't tell me you're here to fight us too, bro. Take a wild guess, what do you say, Mr. Mask? Huh? Uh, me? Yeah. I think you're on our side, right? <laughs> Hate to break it to you, bud, but totally no. Get out of here! Uh, you gotta be kidding me, bro. How is that a surprise? Uh -huh. In the context of players versus reapers, he is technically aligned with the latter. What she said. And speaking of reapers, I brought along that noise the Shinjuku squad cooked up. I gotta say, they're a bit of an acquired taste. Though I hear there's a trick to making them go down easier. You want a taste, then take a bite. Ready to test that theory of yours, fearless leader? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So I guess I was wrong about Kari and Uzuki not exactly being thrilled about this. They maybe didn't know, but I guess they're still going along with it. Alright, so how do I use the light? Do I just fight? Oh, I can actually hurt them now! Holy shit, they're tough, though. I mean, I don't haven't really taken any hits yet, but damn, they're strong. Come on. There's the bear down. Okay, cool. I was going to drop into into Killer Remix, but I don't want to waste it on this. Kaboomskis! I need to get the beat back up. Yeah, they're very tanky. So, other than that, though, they don't seem terrible. I mean, the whole problem was I just couldn't damage them before. Yeah, it's super tanky. Wait for everybody to get everything back. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah, there's still a little like a certain other type of noise from the OG game. Wasn't there like a like a silver noise or a black noise or something? I forget. Catch a wave, new pin. Cool. Hey, leveled up. It's four out of six. I guess the black light works. Wait, it worked? I think it did, bro. You want a round of applause? Meh, it wasn't exactly a hard-fought victory. Indeed, though perhaps that is best for our first foray. What? Huh, in here I thought I was giving you kids a challenge. You sure? Looked to me like you were going easy on him, Uzuki. Oh, last time I checked, slacking off was your character trait. Hmm. 
You're not wrong. But if I didn't know better, I'd say you were coaching them back there. Excuse me? I was simply thinking out loud. Thank you very much. Anyway, we're done here. Time to call it a day. Oh, well, maybe I wasn't far off, though. Maybe they're playing both sides of the street because they have to. Uh, like, thanks, I guess. I'll pass it on for you. Hey, whose side are you really on, yo? The Reapers. Nominally speaking, that is, you feel me? Kind of. At the end of the day, I dig these streets. You can feel the pulse out here. People's ideas conflicting, changing. <laughs> I like being in the audience, you know. I'm a stargazer. Hey. Can't exactly gaze at any stars with a sky like this, dingus. I don't think he meant literally. Oh, it's like a metaphor, bro. Look, I don't do any fancy talk. Are you with us or not, yo? Well, that's not something for me to go and decide all by myself, you know. Seriously, yo? God, yo, just give me a straight answer. Let me put it this way, bro. We're not going to cause you any trouble. So just let us lay low for a little while, you dig? Uh -huh. Allies in everything but name. Phew, bro, what a relief. That noise is pretty nasty. The infection's already spread into the RG, so you better hurry. Might want to do something about it before it becomes a full-blown pandemic. Well, you're a reaper, aren't you? Which means you can interfere with the RG. Yeah, I suppose. Us players can't do anything about the RG. Not while we're here, anyway. So why don't you do something about it? Hmm. Heh. <laughs> You talk a big game for such a tiny frame. Rest assured I'm doing what I can, but keep that between you and me. Laters. What's that look for? Huh, uh, uh, uh nothing. Just glad to have you on our side. I still, oh, purge the plague noise. Incurring an attack from plague noise will reduce your groove. Land a beat drop combo on one of these noise to recoup your losses, increase your groove even more than usual. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So they're with the Reapers, but he's not saying he's with the Shinjuku Reapers specifically. Exactly. Exactly, Kirby. He's basically playing, he's giving us as much help as he can without actually explicitly helping. Um, it's kind of like when Shoki convinced the other Reapers to go easy on us. It's a similar concept. So, that works. Hmm? Are those more Plague Noise? Oh, shit, that's a lot of Plague Noise. Oh, shit, man. It's like a totally whole big swarm, bro. No biggie, we got our ultimate weapon, yo! I doubt one little black light will be much Perhaps. use. Judging by our earlier experiences, as soon as we shine the light on one, another will likely advance upon us from the rear. Then how are we supposed to, like, fight him, bro? We go back to the store and buy every light on the shelf, yo! Hell no. And how exactly do you plan on carrying them all? Guys, for now, we need to get out of here. We can't handle this yet. We gotta let the rest of the... Uh, we gotta let the other team know. That's what we really gotta do. Um, make her run for her and escape. Uh, let's just go to Spaniel because it's close. Let's get out of here, yo. You managed to escape, albeit narrowly. I was certain they would give chase. Well, even if they do, so what, yo? I mean, there aren't that many. Ugh. I bet we could take them, yo. If we have more lights. Alright, team, any ideas? Hmm. How about if I run around real fast while I zap them with the light? 
Uh, we'll keep that on the back burner. Any good ideas, bro? Huh? Well, maybe we should reflect the light or scatter it with a lens or something. A lens? Huh. Hey, boss, let me see your glasses. Absolutely not. Hmm. So, the obvious answer is multiply it with mirrors. Or something that maybe is like a mirror. Maybe like that building in the background that looks very shiny. Hmm. How about using mirrors? Mirrors? Like how, bro? Reflect and multiply. See. A sound strategy, although it will require a great number of mirrors. Word, yo! Where will we even find that many? We need mirrors. I know just where to find them. Or or Tokyo Plaza. Tokyo Plaza apparently is the right answer. Tokyo Plaza. Ah. That's why they talked about the reflection thing earlier. We can leave the noise here. Why? What's it? Oh, oh bro, that makes like total sense. The mirrors at Tokyo Plaza. I see. That would provide us with numerous reflective surfaces. Good enough for me, yo. Let's get to it. And make sure the noise is following our asses. Sounds like a plan. We're getting to Tokyo Plaza. Let's get moving, y'all. We made it to the mirrors. Mm -hmm. Let's, like, totally shine some light on the situation, bro. Just watch yourselves, all right? Ain't no telling what happens if that stuff gets inside you, yo. <laughs> We all take uh, an excursion into your mind to extract the intruding noise. Um, no thanks. Right there with you. Here goes nothing. Lights on! As you're playing this game, I'm pretty sure you played the first World Ends with you. I did! It was a very, very long time ago, but yes, I did. So I'm familiar with most of the themes. I don't remember the finer points of the plot. I remember the broad strokes. We can see them, it worked. Uh, seriously. Okay, here we go. Just one fight though, good. Um, yeah, I played uh, the original World Ends With You um, probably close to 10 years ago at this point uh, on DS, obviously. It was a great time. It was something that a friend of mine at the time had suggested. Um, they said it was one of the most unique games they ever played, and I have to agree with them. It is one of the most unique RPGs I have ever had the chance to play. We're going to go and... Laser beams! Lots of lasers. Because this is the... Boss, yo! Oh, man, he is almost down. Oh, he is just getting juggled like crazy. And I love it. I'm here for this. Jesus. And that is a... Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. The DS is perfect. But yeah, the D and that's the that was the problem with Final Remix from everything I understood, is that the game leaned so up, heavily yeah. into the DS's form factor and just how things work that it just couldn't it just it couldn't be replicated perfectly. And there's no shame in that. That's not it, it's not a fault of them for you know, for that how that's how it worked out. It's just it was a fact really. Um, all right, cool. Unfortunately, that pin did not evolve. Did we win? Sure as hell looks like it. We put that noise on mute, yo. Nice work, Rindy. Oh, hey, Kanon. Looks like things worked out for both of us. We may stand a chance after all. I'm still a bit worried, though. We got this. What about? All those poor infected folks back home in the RG. The noise are up and leaving them for dead. They're leaving? Yep. With nothing but human husks in their way. Yeah, remember the soul thing? Before we know it, all of Shibuya will be consumed. The reverb. That soul sucking thing? Yeah, no clue what happened after everyone got infected. But now that Shinjuku's gone, we'll probably never know. 
So everyone in the RG must have been erased with the city. That's a depressing thought. It's not exactly a happy topic. Let me guess. You're gonna make sure that doesn't happen to Shibuya, right, fearless leader? We'll do our best. Well, every game's gotta have some way to win it. And I'd say the odds are in our favor. At the very least, we've got the Reapers Maybe. outnumbered. If Shiba wants us to spice things up, I say we give him more than he can handle. Catch me if you can. Let's do it. I, I got you. Strike by the balls in our court, right? Yeah. Something like that. You are a wellspring of both inspiration and positivity. Wow. I'm just hoping she doesn't turn on us. What have you got for me, Fred? I'm really glad we finally get to work together. <laughs> How about that? Pretty convincing, right? It sounded a lot more convincing before you asked. But good effort. <laughs> He's trying. Oh, man. That didn't go so hot. <laughs> me and my big mouth. Try keeping it shut. Guess this is our last shot. Ah, uh, come on. I told you to chill out, yo. I mean, it ain't the first time we saved Shibuya, right? Just gotta step up and do my thing. He's talking to somebody. Uh, seriously? I think. Maybe. Why do you keep asking me over and over? I already told you. Who are you talking to? You're talking to... Ayane, right? I nearly recite this chapter by heart. I've replayed it so many Shoko must be talking to Ayane. I may soon be devoured by my desire to find out what happens next. Nay, for his radiance's sake, I must remain strong and persevere. This too shall pass. Uh, I hope I didn't upset her. Maybe I should text her an apology? Sometimes I think she knows me better than I do. She said I've got to be more genuine. But come on. Nobody likes genuine. You'd be surprised. Still no word from Swallow. I hope they're okay. At least I know they haven't been erased. Yet. Fingers crossed they stay safe. I've got a feeling we're already fighting on the same side. We got this. Never give up. FP, very nice. Ooh. You can keep lying to yourself about Shoka all you like, <sighs> but lying to me will not be tolerated. Are we clear? We both know she had no has no intentions of coming back. Certainly not after being publicly humiliated. She simply doesn't know any better. The poor girl is letting her fickle emote. Ayano. I'm sorry, Ayano is her name, not Ayane. Ayane is from Tenchu. If you truly believe she is not beyond redemption, prove it. <laughs> Give her an ultimatum. Make her choose you or them. Sudden Death, Chapter End. Alright. Day two. Oh. All hope is lost. Uh-oh. The noise is too deafening. You have to do something. Have a good one, Rev Run. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, time travel uh, time. What the hell's going on? It'll be a time travel. Yeah. Helpless. Anytime we get a vision like this, it's, it seems to turn into a time travel day. <sighs> Nagi and Shoka seemed like they were in real trouble. But with what? What the hell happened to them? Sup? Y'all pumped for day two? Man, I am psyched to crush that nasty noise. Get it? Psyched? Yeah. <laughs> Christ almighty, Fred. Don't get too psyched. Ain't you seen the city? Not yet. What happened? Let me guess. The reverb. It's already started spreading? This bodes ill. Very ill. I can feel its ominous aura creeping ever closer. 
a nebulous mass of negativity set to swallow me alive. Uh, Nagi? Their hearts sing a siren song, luring me into their ocean of despair. That sounds really scary. The people are being consumed by their own sadness. It really ought to lighten up, yo. Well, if the noise is the problem, we gotta erase it. But that's not the only problem. Check out the sky. Uh oh, oh. Oh shit. Is it getting Whoa. worse? You're right. What the hell's going on? That's the same sky as it was yesterday, before. right? Back when I was a Reaper, I went to the RG a few times, and on my way back here, I remember seeing this sky. It looked like two planes of existence just collided into one. Like they fused or something? More like looking through a window to another dimension. Normally, you can't see across planes like that, but this isn't normal. No, no, it's not. Oh, greetings, sheeple oh, of Shibuya. Got some red hot news for you. Since you players have already proven that you can handle a little heat, I've decided to raise the temperature a little further. Great, here we go. And Shoka, uh. I've prepared something extra spicy for you, but I should warn you if you aren't careful, you're bound to get burned. <laughs> and with that, I bid you adieu. Mm. Two different missions? Listen, fearless leader. What's up? I've got a favor to ask. Don't. I need us to look for a Reaper named Ayano. A okay. Reaper? How come? Ayano, okay. Sure, that's a good idea. We've kind of got a situation on our hands. And this is on my hands, okay? When Shiva said extra spicy. This is what he meant. He's sending his noise after the Reapers now. He turned his monsters really? into Really? But why? Hey! So, like, where is this Ayano of yours? Not sure. She probably doesn't even know where she is. I doubt she knows the layout of the city too well. Wonder if that vision I saw had something to do with Ayano. Nagi said it was hopeless. Sure hope she's wrong. Hey, listen. Huh? Yeah? I, uh, I'm sorry for making you do this. What? No, it's... If everything goes well, we might be able to bring her on board. On board? Like, have her join the team? Yeah, it might take a little convincing, but... That vision didn't look very promising. Maybe if I turn back time? Well, more like it's a lot of convincing. She can be kind of pretty stubborn. But if I can just talk to her, I'll know she'll listen. Well, you know her better than I do. Let's just focus on finding her first. Yeah, it sounds good. Okay, but uh, like, where do we start, bro? Right now, one of those are only yeah. option. And we've still got to do something about the noise around town. Yeah, things aren't looking great. I also don't love the idea of living, uh, leaving all that to Kanan. Yeah, no telling who Sheba's noise will go after next. Even his own Reapers aren't safe anymore. Uh, but aren't, like, they supposed to be like teammates, though? <sighs> they are. Which means that something must have happened to change that. I'm worried about Ayano. I really think she might be in trouble. Well, let's try to find her first. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, bro, that's all we can do at this point. No real leads on where else we can get to this at this point. Might as well just head to one of and go from there. Come on, y'all, let's gotta go find that Ayano. <laughs> Come on, let's move. Right. He's just a big old dork. The search for Ayano, let's go. Alright, um... Well, let's actually... I want to scan real quick. Oh, I wanted to see if maybe some of the... Some of the special noise would start popping up. I don't see any. I wonder if they could potentially pop up as just random encounters. Alright, let's just... Let's get some of our stuff drained. Big chains! Big chains! 11? Oh god, this might hurt. 12? Oh god. 13? Yeah, sure, why not? I, I, I like dying. 
Sure, why not? Guess I'll put you out of your misery. 105 drop rate. Jesus fucking Christ, I might be dead. If there's a T-Rex in here, I'm fucked. Oh, birds. Okay, new birds, I think. I don't think I've seen the, uh... I don't think I've seen the orange ones before. Oh, I'm totally out of pin. Oops, missed. There we go, and got a level out of that too. Very nice. Oh, Kalu, Kale, it's a fucking rhino. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go for this one. Of course I get the gravity one. I should have timed that better. Okay, Rhino's gone. That's the one I was actually really concerned about, but that's okay. Um, between the fact that the final or killer remix gives me healing as well as the two healing pins I'm using... I should be okay. I just need to... Rhinos are just not a fun thing to deal with. Okay, switch to the next target. Okay, pins are charging. Let's go ahead and get back. Oh, of course I'm poisoned. Okay, let's go for the next round. There we go. Beautiful. We're doing okay. We're at about 80%, I think, roughly. Okay, we got this. And remember, folks, this is a hard. Not the hardest difficulty, just the hardest one I got. Alright, we're gonna save that 300 for later. Okay. Oh, very nice. And let's go ahead and finish this bad boy off. Wow, we need two full recharges to finish this fight. Holy cats. There we go. I need to definitely get some more stats or some better pins. I actually need to check out the pin that I'm using on Rindo after this. Um, oh, fuck this. We're not playing this game. Fuck rhinos. Oh, we didn't get a hole. Oh, there we go. Got him on the last hit. Okay. Screw rhinos. I didn't get healed, though. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. It didn't heal because I didn't get him back in the fight. Alright. Already up to 100. Very nice. Okay, back off, back off. Okay, good job. Hey, up to 145 after one fight. Not bad, not bad. Building up Groove is the name of this game. That's how you do your big damage. There's 
200. Oh man, we are just climbing that like crazy. Okay, we're just gonna back off. Uh, jellyfish is probably the next best setup. There we go, 300. And now we have another killer remix for the next fight. Perfect. Doing good. Eight. What did I go to? Thirteen. down. I'm assuming 10 is where we see the next big difficulty spike. Uh, Scorpion's great. Um, I'm going to hold off on using Killer Remix unless I need it. I'm gonna back off because Scorpions are a little scary. Oh shit, there's two of them. We still don't have any of them down. Great. The poison is not doing good things. There's a lot of poison here. Uh oh. Oh, we need to we need to do this right now. We need to do this right now. Okay, how much health does that give us? The poison was about ready to take us down. Oh, we are in full health. Ah. I'd like to see if I can get to a... Uh... Oh, shit. If I can get us up to 100, I can at least do a groove. Give me some help. Oh man, they are just making mince me out of my fucking ability to build up green. Oh, get out of the way! Oh, shit. Stay away from that bullshit. Launch. Because I couldn't get it from behind. Okay, get as much damage on it as you can. Uh, get out of there. These... Please, no more rhinos or scorpions. Okay. Like we got Bert. Ah, oh, fuck. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Just We're just gonna groove this because I don't want to take shit tons of damage. I probably should have targeted the scorpions first. Okay, that was close. 
Oh god, please no dinos, Gak. Don't don't curse me like this. I don't need that nonsense. Don't you do that? Don't don't you bring that evil here, Ricky Bobby? Don't you dare do that. Um, like two more to go, right? Okay, geez, two. I don't know if my goal is to try to build this up as high as I can. And so I can come into the next fight with a really high... Oh, God. Ideally, I'd love to come in with a 300, but I know I probably won't. Oh, but we do come in with a 300. Oh. Assuming the poison doesn't kill us. Oh, finish it. Thank you. Okay. 13. This is the last one. We're going to come in here right away. Right away with a killer remake. Oh, this is a beautiful one to end it on. Oh, this is beautiful to end it on. This one should be a cakewalk. I didn't kill them all. But it's a friggin' bird. It should be dead right now. 13 reduction. Oh, that felt good. I took 300% damage. <laughs> Holy hell, that's a lot of damage. Toad, have a good night. Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate you. Oh, that was a toughie. Okay, let's see. What is the damage on this now? Really? Really, that did not get a stronger power up. That is very surprising to me. I would have thought for sure that was going to get more, but apparently not. Is this all right this is another uber pen Vulcan uppercut this is also an HP vampire though got 10 levels and we'll try this one this one actually is more in line with what I was using before because it launches so let's try that I think it's time for us to check out some new pins. Because I want... I want some... It's not really good. I really like this pin setup I've got currently on Brat because of... Uh... Okay, let's start with power. Let's go from power and see what we can do. See if we can find anything that's stronger. Oh, I gotta go up. That it's not the top of the list. Okay, so you're using the strongest pen. Okay, what is this? Freestyle launcher. Oh, that's maxed out though. We've already got that. So, what is this? Electric. Oh, <gasps> oh, I remember that pin. Meteor Strike. I don't want that on you, though. Hmm. Who would I want that? It also evolves. Okay. That's the... Okay, so that's the bomb pin that uh, Shoka's using. Um... Oh, 
bombs. I don't like those bomb ones, like, at all. What the hell is that? Thrust your spear at the target, keep attacking and knocking on your back, and send them flying. Time yeah, Time Affinity is new. We haven't seen any of that. Alright, I think I'm actually going to pop over here. Let's actually... Can I switch this out? Where, where was the other one that I saw? Oh, which one was it? Which one was that one? This one. Yeah. You lose 27 points. It's going to evolve. Yeah, let's do that. It's going to be about the same recharge cycle as Nagi's pin is. Yeah, let's run with this. I like this setup so far. This is actually kind of similar to our original setup. Let's go get some food, though. I could use some, uh, some curry. Hey, come on in. And now we eat. eat, yo. Time to eat. Positively Very nice. Everybody enjoys that. Perfect. Come back soon. All right, let's get over to Wanafo and see what's going on, folks. I can't believe I took out every noise except for one. I don't know how I missed the one, but I got them. Oh. Oh, hey. Uh-oh. I really hope this is not a do-a-chain reduction battle. Let me guess. You want through. Mm-hmm. That's right. So you really are with them now. Shame about Ayano. It's only... If only she'd just done what Shiva said. But no, she just had to try to make you a Reaper again. <sighs> Can't say I blame her. We all know what happens to ex-reavers once the game's over. Aren't there any of these noise here? Anyway, I guess I should give you a mission or something. Defeat five noise with this symbol on you. Consider them defeated. Let's have a look. Well, there's one. Uh, hoisted by my own petard, I believe, is the expression we're looking for. Okay, not gonna lie, the lightning slam looks kind of cool. Because I think it's doing some, like, crater work. Alright. Okay, here we go. Oh, those are both L1s! I didn't even realize I, those are both L1s now. Okay, cool. That makes my life a little bit easier now. I don't need to worry about holding down more buttons. Alright, so I gotta... I gotta actually fight okay. five battles, right? Oh. Oh, okay, so I just need to fight five noise that come from that. Okay, alright. So, um... Okay. Good job taking out the noise. Go on ahead. Uh, thanks. So, um... Have you seen a Yano? Can't say that I have. But I know a guy who might. He sees a lot of things. He's always watching over everything from the tippy top of one of them. Noted, thanks. Oh. Wouldn't dream of denying what are your final requests. She around, Shoga. Well, bro, there's our goal. And we're the only ones with our eyes on the sky. Yeah, bro, it's like the people haven't noticed the metal death blob above them. Damn, yo. Ain't just the sky, yo. Even the air's giving me the creeps. Huh? Indeed, the atmosphere is rife with some unspeakable force. It could very well drive one mad. Uh, you like think that's cause the plague noise too, bro? 
Maybe. Ah. Let's just hurry up and find that Reaper. Right. It shouldn't be too hard to get up to him. Let's head off. Um, well, let's actually check out the shop real fast. Anything new? Hi, sugar. We are already at level five. We have You'll bought everything back, at least once. Hello and welcome. Farewell. All the same stuff. Probably the same stuff here too. Hmm, welcome. Oh no, there is a new one. Um. Oh, I've already got this actually. I think. But I'll trade it anyway. Oh, level four. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, hey, that's a new item. Fishnet socks. Hell yeah. No mercy. What's that ability? Oh, faces uh, increases attack when facing a single one. That's a boss kill, I think. Cool. Thanks. Come again soon. Um, we need to get up to the top, which means we gotta come over this way. Gotta focus. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hey, buddy. Huh? Hmm? What are you doing all the way up here? So, um... We're... We're looking for Yano. You can see pretty much everything from here, right? Have you seen her? Yano, huh? Can you describe her for me? Huh? Uh, you don't know who she is, bro. I thought all you Reavers knew each other. You're from Shibuya, aren't you? I guess that makes sense, then. She never mingled much with the Shibuya Reapers. She's got a mean RBF and long hair. Blonde. Hell no. Literally the exact opposite. Her hair's black. What else is there? She can come off kind of cold. Nah. That might sound a little familiar-ish, possibly. So, uh, have you seen her or not, bro? Maybe. I can't quite remember. Mm -hmm. Did you see a girl with an iguana? How are you not describing the fact that she's got a fucking lizard on her goddamn fucking shoulder? Uh, I can fix that, right, Rin, dude? Oh, yeah. Let's jog your memory real quick. Let's have a look. Let's get down to business. I mean, have these... Have... Has Fret ever seen her before? Try to remember. I guess he must have. Oh, now I remember. She's that chick with the iguana. Why did you say so early? Exactly! Fair. I guess he is pretty distinctive. Perhaps he was simply too obvious to you to warrant a mention. Hey. So you've seen her? Nope. Seriously? No one who even looks vaguely like her? Hey, I just got here. Cut me some slack. Oh, but I know someone who might be able to help. Hey, Uzuki. Oh, fuck. She should be around here somewhere. You didn't happen to see her, did you? Huh? Uzuki, you mean Pinky? How fortuitous for us. What are you all doing here? Uh, we're looking for Yano. Huh? Really? Well, best of luck to you. I'd love to help, but seeing as we're enemies and all... Of course. Totally unrelated, but I may have spotted a lady with an iguana a bit ago. Oh, you... Oh, you are just... Oh, she's sweet on... Oh, she, she wants to help us. She's so... Oh, God. Uzuki... Oh. Thanks! Oh, you're being such a such a alpha. Huh? Looked like she was on her way to Center Street. Yeah. She's she's being such a good helper. What? This works in our favor too, you know. The more time you morons waste looking for your friend, the more time we have to flood this place with noise. So go ahead with your little search. Thanks. Whatever, I'm just doing my job. Anything to get ahead. Thank you, Uzuki. Hmm. Yeah, we owe you one, Pinky. Yo, you are just not too bad, you know? 
Shut your trap until you can get my name right. The show. You got it, Pinky. Gotta focus. Let's go. That part was real. She was really upset about him calling her Pinky. Alright, we're gonna need to open another gate. Doesn't look like it. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Plague noise. Uh -huh. There's no circumventing them. No choice but to fight, huh? Hmm. Let's knock him out! I'm all set. It's go time. Okay, here we go. Time to crack some skulls. I foresee no difficulties. Okay, back it up. Okay, there's one. Nice, 300. We're gonna save that, I think, though. Okay, I guess they're not new. It's not new really creative, but it still looks cool. Oh, they sucked out the 300, you little fuck shit. That's all right, we got three hundo back. Yeah, the, the plague noise are definitely very tanky. Very tanky. Okay, level two. That the noise just now. I think they came because of me. What? They're drawn to strong emotions. Just like regular noise. Huh? You don't seem super emotional right now. Are you that angry? Something like that. Let's hurry to Center Street then. Yeah. Top Dog Gatling. Ooh. All right. Well, let's let's take a peek. I can find it. Uh, top dog, yeah. Nah, I'm not gonna give up my regen for that bullshit. All right, let's go ahead and get over to Center Street, folks. Into the crossing. Oh, we got ourselves a Reaper challenge. Fan freaking toaster. Let's go. Sup? If you guys want to get to Center Street. We have to complete a mission for you, right? Well, aren't you a smart one? Speaking of smart ones, what's up with Iano? No one's bothered to tell me what the hell's going on. The noise got inside her head. Um, Yeesh, poor thing. She was doing, I presume. Probably. So what's her mission? All right, win a four reduction chain battle around here. Good luck. I can Let's have a look. We'll do one better and do five. Suck it. Galaxy Brain, activate! Yeah, best battle cry. Let's bring the pain, yo. Oh, did I do that? You 
Tons of damage! And that's that. Okay, here we go. Rhino time. Can I, like, get through your fucking armor? Jesus, bro. You know what? Fuck you. We're done. I am just... The, the rhino noise irritates the shit out of me. I get to keep any of that groove? No, of course not. Ooh, orange shark. Okay, back up a little bit. Get him. And... Oh, just got the one. Perfect timing. Not bad. One advantage of, of the lightning thing is that it does extra damage for sharks because... Electric in the water. Let us tread carefully. Pokemon type. Right? Get the scorpion first. Okay, scorpion is down, I believe. Nice, good job, Nagi. Oh, I got it a little early. That's uh, should have launched it. Is that it? Yep, we're done. All right, I'm just gonna wait for him to blow up and Dunzors. Next one. Is that three? I think that's number three. So this is four. Fuck no, this is five. Come on. Just take it down. Stupid ass shark. Stupid shark. Oh, we didn't get the shark. I almost fell over. That would have been funny. Yeah, not too friggin' shabby. Let's see how much we level. We got ourselves some new pins. I like it. I like it. Electric Manicure. Let's level that sucker up into Bolt of Beauty. Hey, very nice. Jesus, that's a lot of experience. I think we got it. And we've completely destroyed our okay. points. Mission complete. Head on through. You could always ask, you could always say you're sorry, Shoka. Ask for forgiveness. Why would I do that? You might be willing to make you a Reaper again. I'll pass on that, thanks. Hmm? You sure? Yep, I've had enough. If you say so. I do. 
My question, though, is what happens to an ex-Reaper after the game is over? Because... Hey there. Beat seems to be okay. Let's eat, yo. Huh? Let's eat. Hey, tasty bonus in defense. Not bad, not bad. And that's going to take me way over, so... I will just... Um, I also want to take a look at this. First of all, new books. Right? Are you looking for something? Uh, let's go ahead and sell our... Dupe pins. Holy shit. I think I got money. I think I got money. Time to go to Center Street. I hopefully, hopefully we find a Ayano here. Hey. Well, we're here on Center Street, bro. Think Ayano's still around? No way to find out except to hit the streets, yo. Indeed. We have nary a soul to rely on but our own selves. I doubt those dwelling in the world of the living will be of much help to us. Seeing as our search is for a being unknown and unseeable to them. Right, well, let's get started. Gotta focus. Oh, that's not... Oh, hey. Hey, it's that guy again. How goes the game? What's it to you? Nothing, I suppose. Merely curious. There's no need to answer if you'd rather not. Then why did you even... Ugh, whatever. Hey. More importantly, have you seen Ayano? What? Why do you mean to save her? Take a wild guess. Fair enough, though I advise you to reconsider. Indeed. Be smart about this, Shoka. You heard Shiva. While he may be going about it all wrong, he means to end to put both the UG and RG to rights. What does that mean, put to rights? I wish I knew, though I have my suspicions. He may believe it is in his purpose to bring about the destruction of Shibuya. It's his purpose? Give me a break. Think what you will, it doesn't change the facts. He will see his mission done, and by all, any means necessary. Wait a sec. You've, you've lost me. Can you please just get to the point? The noise within, within Ayato. Do not underestimate it. Listen. Now then, you were you there, the leader of the Wicked Twisters. What? The what? Best of luck. You will need it. And we'll figure it out. Um, thanks, I guess? Well, that was cryptic, but he said something about the noise possessing Ayana. Guessing my vision is going to be spot on. Alright, um... I was going to check something. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was going to check out my social network. I forgot about that. Because I got a bunch of points that I never spent. So... Who do I want to spend these on? Don't care about that. I can get some gear out of you. Get some gear out of you. I'm running out of um running out of things that I can actually buy that matter. What to do? Oh, whoops. Didn't touch that. Um buy the pig noise. Pigdar has been activated. I gotta figure... Yeah, this is... I gotta figure this one out. Alright, so there's still actually a bunch of these I gotta get going. Some of them I just gotta unlock. Some of them I need to do the thing for it. We'll figure it out, though. Um, new things to buy? Hey, back you home. are VP, VIP 5, so I'm good on you. Uh, oh, it's a Reaper. What you got from me, buddy? Hmm? If it isn't the Wicked Twisters. Show em. Have you seen a Yano? 
You could at least say hi. Yeah, I saw her. When? Where? Did she stop anywhere? What was she doing? <laughs> Slow down there, girl. What makes you think I'm telling you any of that? Traitor. You really are stupid, aren't you? A Shinjuku Reaper quitting. And joining forces with the Wicked Twisters, no less. You! I punk! That's enough out of you! Uh, and who are you supposed to be? What? Oh, you're that weak-ass fake Neku, aren't you? Uh -huh. What'd you just call me? Chill, I'm not looking for a fight, you shrimp. Could've fooled me. We ain't letting you go after all that. I think you are, actually. Here. Unless you can catch me while you're fighting all these noise. Oh, that's some dirty bullshit right there. Right. Who wants a piece of bread? I definitely would like to kick a Reaper's ass. Ah, god damn it. Yeah, even so apparently if it doesn't do damage, it doesn't get the it doesn't get the launcher effect. Which is really annoying. Yeah, Rhinos are just hands down the most annoying enemy in this game. Especially when they do shit like that where they just sit in a fucking corner. Seriously, bro? Thank you. Like, chameleons and dinosaurs and shit might be deadly. Um, but the rhinos are annoying. I still put dinos and sharks above them as most annoying. I mean, sharks are like, uh, okay, I gotta deal with this, but they're they're not that bad. Um, dinos just hit like a fucking truck. That's the big problem with them. So I I don't necessarily agree. The rhinos are just annoying. Like they're. They're so they're they're weak enough that they can't really do anything to you, other than slow you down. So I, I mean I just I find them super annoying. Damn, where did that reaper go? Uh -huh. He made his retreat to Spain Hill. Uh -huh. That bastard! Come on, let's go pound his face into the concrete, yo! Yikes, bro! Let's go after him. Yeah. Shadow Matter. All right, well, before we do that, we're going to check out the shops. I think this one is maxed as well, but I'm trying to be proactive and check out the different shops as I get to them. Oh, we do have something new, and we are level 5. Ooh, not something for Nagi. Hey, yeah. Thanks. All right. All right, what do you got, uh, Nagi? All right, you got something new. Oh, shit. What is that? Attack boost 2? Oh, that is a big increase. And you get a sick defense increase, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but it replay. Ooh. I don't know how that might be from. Um. Oh, that's right. I was going to put on... Where is it? There was... I thought there was a... Accessory to put on that would give me... That would um, help take care or prevent me from dying? Potentially? I thought I had one. Or was that was that was an accessory? That was uh that was that was the, the okay that was healthy resilience on the on the shoes. Never mind. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Let's get over to Spain Hill though. We got this. We got it. Um, we might be able to go to the get some boba tea though. 
So let's uh, head on up and see if we can find that Reaper. We'll also hit some Boba Tea. Hello. Uh, that shit's shit's gonna be. Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna take us way over. Thanks, Never and mind. Come again. Never mind. That that shit's way too high calorie. All right, there he is. Let's get him. Hmm. There he is over there. Damn, persistent, aren't you? He evades us further. <sighs> what are we standing around for? Let's go get him. Hold up, dude. Yeah, that might need to wait. Why? Plague noise? Yeah. Why? Because of all these plague noise, bro. Indeed, we must dispose of them before continuing onward. Yo, for real with this? Ah, let's make it quick, yo. Let's take him down. Right. Who wants a piece of fret? Apparently, these plague noise do. Okay, we got this. Nice launcher. Yeah, they're just super incredibly tanky. They just keep sucking it out of. Do I get the three? Oh, I got 300. Nice, sir. Let's finish it. Let's finish this, suckers. Oh, we got it. Just in time. wasn't bad it wasn't bad we got another noise pin we got we got some we got a bunch of new pins to work with i wish you could look at the pins on the screen on the battle results screen so you could see exactly what they do that should be all of them but where'd that guy go bro mm -hmm. i seen him hit him for tower records let's go yo a logical escape me <clears throat> let's go we can't keep wasting time hey Otto. Please be okay. Don't disappear on me. We're getting some major money. Alright, let's just keep moving. Let's catch up with this Reaper dude. How's that damn Reaper, y'all? Curious. Disguising himself as a regular human, evidently. And loitering around Tower Records. Oh, hey, you're right. Good job, boss. We'll make him talk this time. Let's get him. Ah, good disguise, bro. You didn't get rid of your hoodie. Yo, Reaper, stop trying to sneak away, yo! Buzz off. Besides, I think you've got company. This is going to be the time reset because we're killing time on this. And so we're not going to get to the Tuayano until it's too late, isn't it? Trap, playing noise. There's more? We better wipe them out quick. Or else they'll get their paws in the city, folks, and no one wants that. Uh, we'll deal with you next. An enemy approaches. We got this, though. We got it. Come on, let's go. Who's up first? I'm ready. Okay, we got the wolf for one of them at least. Oh, we gotta move. Oh, 
Not bad, not bad. Let's just do a 200 and just hit him. Okay, bye bye there. Oh, ow. whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell is that bullshit? Okay, what is that? Okay, that was some bullshit attack right there. When did you get all anime? Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Super Zoomies is right, Kirby. Holy fuck. Man, so I bad, just... Right? I took a fuck ton of damage. Wolves are annoying. You gonna talk to me now, bro? Aw, oh, you shit. Woohoo, all done, bro. Where'd the Reaper go? Um... Oh, over there, bro. Up on that building. He went up top to... Oh. Uh. <gasps> Sneaky bastard! It's fine. I can warp us up there. Mm-hmm. Um, right there. He's kind of cornered now. Now we know why he, I can come up here. Uh, stop following me. Not until you tell us what you know. Give it up, y'all. Fine. Ayano's right over there. Look, you can see her from here. Son of a bitch. Miyashita Park? She's there. She's really there. We should be able to get there from the Scramble Crossing. We better haul ass, yo. Wait. What? The thing is... Um. Spit it out. You're trying to save her, right? Huh? I, I don't think that's going to happen. She's in bad shape. How so? The noise that got her. It wasn't like the plague noise, you know. It happened so fast. She was just devoured. It's already too late for her. She's not the Yano you knew. This sucks. The hell's wrong with you? Why wouldn't you say that earlier? If we didn't waste our time chasing you around, we could have seen... It was already too late. She's been like that since yesterday. By the time Shiva started that broadcast, she... She was already gone. <sighs> I'm still going to her. I'm not giving up. You. Making us chase you around like that. Not cool, dog. Was your plan to get us too riled up to get to Iana, bro? Huh. Yeah. You kind of pissed me off, you know. If it weren't for all of you, things would have been easier. We could just destroy Shibuya and then move on to the next place. Easy peasy. No more Reapers hurt, no more friends lost. Leave him, Beat. Well, damn. He's just doing what the Shinjuku Reapers do. Anything he can to protect his friends. I'm sorry. Has she given up? Well, damn. Okay, so we gotta get to the park. Alright, let's get out of here. All right, so we need to find uh, something. Uh, Miyashita Park is where we got to go. That is where we got to go to find Ayano and potentially save her. I don't know if we're going to be in time. I have a feeling we're probably going to be too late. Just as the Raper said, we're going to have to do some kind of fun time travel, timey-wimey stuff. But we at least know where we need to go to get to Ayano at this point. So something, I guess. Uh, but I think that this is probably actually where we're going to go ahead and end it for tonight. Um, I got pretty deep into this particular new day. Um, so I think this is a good point for us to end.